Hi everyone, I hope you are doing well. So today we are going to see how to play with Typeclove ADB and especially Density to create really good effects. Get inside the mesh and animate everything. With this effect, I was able to create these two different effects by using the same basic setup and by cutting out the sphere. You can of course find all this effect and setup on my Patreon. Okay, let's go. Okay, so now we are in 3ds Max and the first thing I'm going to do is to create a shape for the creation of my VDB effect. So this time I will not use a sphere, but maybe a box. So let's try with a box. So a box like this, maybe 50, 50, 50. I will now go to Typeflow. So here, a Typeflow setup. Open editor, move the windows here on the right. I will now go to VDB. I create a boss VDB. I will now add an object to SDF and pick my box. I can now hide my original box here and just keep my type of setup. Perfect. Now what you want to do is to convert the SDF into density. So I will add a VDB convert and select SDF to density. What I have to do to finish is to go here to VDB to mesh and select density. Great like this. Now what you want to do is to create deformation on the mesh and play with the density. So I will go back to my box here open the material editor. I can now go to material, V-Ray, and create a V-Ray material. And for the diffuse, I will select the map. So maps, general, and here you can choose a lot of maps. For me, one of the best is noise or cellular. So let's go with cellular. I can select now my mesh and apply this texture to the mesh. Okay, great, like this. I can go back to my cellular and play with the settings. So for the division color here, I will go to black, maybe up a bit the size, 50, 40, That's great. You can play with the spread if you want. Maybe 0 0.6 will be good. Okay, so now what you want to do is to apply this deformation to the VDB. So I will go back to Take Low and I will add a VDB modifier. A VDB modifier after the VDB convert. For the modify grid, I will select density. You can already see the change. I'm in scalar operation add, so I will switch to divide, add is great too, but uh, it's up to you to choose the scalar operation you want, but I love divide, but we'll not play with the noise, but with the texture we've created previously. So I will go here to text map, pick my box here, and in the text map here, I will drag and drop the cellular in the map slot. Instance, and you can see the change in live. It's really great. You can, of course, play with the size here. Play with fractal if you want to change the look. Okay, so it's very cool for our first look, but I will show you how to go further to create a very cool result. So I will go back to the VDB modify. And here you can see in the option input scala and output scala. So we'll play with this setting. What you can do is to go here in the input scala and play with the multiplayer. If I up the value, you can see the result here. Four, five. Playing with the multiplayer is a very cool way to create very different results. Here you can see that the cube is very cut inside the volume. If you want to smooth a bit the result, what you can do first is to go back to your voxel size here and decrease Great result, like this, maybe too much, 0 0.8. You can, of course, play with the VDB filter. Here, VDB filter and play with the Gaussian. 
that will smooth your result, but you can, of course, play here with a tie relax. Tie relax here. And up the iteration, maybe 20 and an amount of 0 0.5. Yeah, it's really smooth like this. Now that we have this result, I will show you how to create animation inside the volume. So I will go back to my material here, to my cellular. And you can play here with all the settings of set, tilling, and angle. So I will activate the auto key, go to frame 80, go back to the box to see the result in live. You can of course add a UVW map if you want a more correct result for the mapping. Okay, I think it's great like this. I can now select the key, go to graph editor, try view material, and here in diffuse map, and coordinate, you can see here the curve. I don't want a smooth start and smooth end, so I will select the key and select linear. So the animation will be linear. It's, for example, a really good option if you want to create a loop. Okay, so now I will go back to tight close and we see that we don't have the animation. Okay, so I will go to my tight flow setup here. Set the VDB convert to continuous and the VDB modify to continuous too. I will maybe go for the end animation, maybe frame 50. And let's see the result. Yeah, it's really, really cool. You can, of course, go back here and play with all this option to create the animation you want inside the volume, inside the density. Okay, guys, so it's over for this tutorial. I hope you've learned a lot of things. Don't forget the thumb up and to subscribe if you like my work. You can, of course, follow me on Instagram or beyond if you want, and you can find all my projects on my Patreon. See you soon for the next tutorial, guys. Bye.